Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to do my favorite thing ever which is test more as seen on TV products. I just realized I'm wearing my glasses and the ring light is the worst thing ever for glasses. So now I'm blind but we're gonna continue with the video. Ready? Let's begin. I've done a million of these videos, meaning I think like 10 of them. I've always wanted to try the flex tape. I bought the flex tape for a video, and I was like, next time I do one of these videos, I'll use the flex tape. Well, in that gap of time, I ended up actually needing to use the flex tape, and I have to say, I have my hair on it. Good. But it actually works. So I don't have some amazing, funny, haha -ha thing to show you. I just will tell you the flex tape works for me anyway, the way that I've used it. I used it, my sprinkler pipe in my backyard broke. It's like split open, taped it together, it works fine now. And then. Uh, in my laundry room, the tube that gets the water out of the washer and fits into another tube in the house. The tube in the house was too big for the, the little tube that from the washer thing, so I had to tape them together. It stopped leaking. So I don't have something funny that are no jokes, except for the hair on this, but flex tape works. Next product, sock slider. I have seen this on a As Seen on TV website many and many a time, and I'm always like, I just can't bring myself to pay for this because I know it's gonna fail. All of these As Seen on TV products I've tried, I'm always like, they might work. This is just ridiculous to me. But thankfully, one of you knew me so well and you got it for me at the Santa Barbara show. And so I have to say thank you for this. So let's try this, shall we? It's a two-piece design. I'm ready. I'm gonna put my glasses on for this so that I don't mess up. Dana, Dana. Da -na -da -na -na -na. Another sock! Kick that wiki feet. I always wear two socks in the winter because my feet get freezing. Yes, this is an awkward angle. Sorry. You know, most YouTubers would set up two cameras, one on my face and one on my feet. I am not most YouTubers. This is complicated. <laughs> so I take the sock and I put it. My, stre my sock don't stretch that much. Oh my God. Whose sock stretches this much? Am I supposed to put it on inside out like this? I'm so confused by this. This seems raw. Oh, you know what this is for? To grab it. All right. I'm in it, guys. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. That was a lot of fun, but I will say that this is my toe currently. And that took a lot of effort for me to bring my foot up here. The dust, can you see the dust that is escaping from my foot as I do this? Oh, is that what I'm supposed to use this at the end to make sure this is on appropriately? All right, are we here guys? Are we on? The sock went on my foot. That did happen, but it took a lot of extra effort for me to make sure the sock was perfect. So while it did what it was supposed to do, it still didn't because it required me bending and being flexible. Maybe I just didn't do it right. I'm gonna try it again. Maybe it just, maybe it was me. Maybe it was me. Now I still gotta bend over. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, you know what, Wiki Feet, you're gonna get your wish. Cause I'm gonna see if it works with ankle socks. I feel violated already. This doesn't stretch. This takes a lot of effort. Here's an ankle sock. Okay, it works with an ankle sock, but not a sock that goes up at all. Because when it goes up at all, it gets all fluffled at the top past your ankle. So I'm gonna give this five out of 10 because it only works with half the socks in the universe. Actually, how many socks, what's the ratio? Do people like ankle socks more than tall socks or tall socks more than ankle socks? Okay, so the next product we're gonna try is something I think Colleen gave me for Christmas. Wonder arms. Shape, tighten, and tone. Triceps, biceps, shoulders, chest, back, and more. I literally dropped it and just like threw it across the room. So it's just a workout system. What is this? Oh, it's a band workout. It looks like the jaws of life. I'm scared. Okay, how do I do this? Level one, 15 pounds. I just did an arm and chest workout yesterday. <gasps> Brag much. But my arms and chest are sore, so we're gonna go with very minimal. Minimal? Very minimal resistance. You put the band here. Nailed it. Okay, this is for my triceps. It, it is working the triceps, guys. I can feel it. Wait, so this works the triceps and this works the biceps. So just changing the angle changes what works out. No, not a chance. And then the chest, you just go up. 
You know what? I feel it on the chest a little bit, but I'm still feeling it in the tricep. My God, what's and more? What, what other degree could I possibly change? Oh, shoulders, it's behind you. I mean, I need to know what the and more is. <laughs> oh, there's eating recommendations. Eat at least six meals daily. If you eat anything, consider it a meal. What? If you eat anything, consider it a meal. So if I have an almond, that's my meal. Reduce caffeine intake and increase water intake. No alcohol. Oh, honey, no one is paying attention to you. <laughs> this feels like a workout people would do when they're lazy boy. Tricep, bicep, chest, shoulder. Feels like this, except here. Here I can feel it in my chest, but everywhere else, just just feels weird on my tricep. Am I fit yet? Am I fit? Can I do it somehow with my legs? <laughs> I'll stop now. I'm gonna give this, scientifically speaking, I'm gonna give it about a four. Because if you say, well, it gives you a workout, yeah, any motion you do will give you a little bit of a workout. And anything you do with resistance, just like picking something up repetitively that's slightly heavy is gonna give you a workout. But this seems like something that they try to market people where you just sit and watch TV and do it, which I don't know. <laughs> Oh, this I feel in my chest. Oh, if you do it like this. Oh, this feels like a better workout. I just think it's another gimmick tool. But I mean, hey, any workout's a workout. If you're doing something to better yourself, it better your health. Cool, good, great. I just think that this doesn't do all it says it can do. Cause I only really felt it in my tries and chest. I really didn't feel it in my and more. That's where I'm struggling to give this any more than four stars out of 10. Next product, it came in a pouch. It didn't even come in a box. It just came in a pouch. Well, I did order it off Amazon, but I got the creepiest thing that I could find. They smell so bad. I don't want these near my face. Can these be taken off? No, they're stuck on. So apparently, you know, these would be really good for back scratches. Wait, I don't even care what they're for. You can't put your fingers together. They block you. I have a finger gap. That arm workout really did work. They're for gardening, to scrape up the dirt. Now it's nighttime and I don't want to go outside. So I'm just gonna say, they smell so bad. You know what these are for? Next Halloween, when you dress up like a witch or something. I feel like someone would make a music video song thing out of this. Name that song. This is a trick. I don't even know what song I was playing. So I feel like they're gonna work without using them. Because this is how scientific my research is. Without even using them, I'm... It got stuck. I'm gonna give it a seven, just cause they are so much fun without even going in the garden. It's I'm telling you, they'd be really good for back scratch. Then you don't, you still have your dexterity. You still have the finesse. Oh, ha 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 You know how you can't tickle yourself? I totally tickle myself. I think these are a win, guys. And I haven't even tried them out for their real purpose. Oh, they're good for, oh, this? Oh yeah, this feels good. Oh, I think I found my new favorite toy and it's these gloves. I'm going with these, these are good. I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 because that wouldn't be a responsible scientist of me because I haven't even actually tried them for their real purpose. Okay, last product, the side socket. Now I saw this and it, it seems like a good idea. You know like when you have a dresser up against a wall but there's a plug back there and you wanna plug something into that plug but you can't because there's a dresser up against it. Well this makes it so that plugs in and the plug goes out to the side. And I went, that's a good idea. But then under further review, I realized that this is the thick thing in the entire planet. Your dresser is going to have to stick out that much from the wall. I'm gonna take this to my bedroom. I'm gonna take you with me and I'll show you why this isn't the best product for that out on the market. There's a socket behind my bed, right? Okay, this is my bed. Pull my bed from away from the wall real quick. Now you see how I have this, this outlet thing that's very flat and it goes all the way to this lovely thing. By the way, my new Roomba. Thanks, Colleen. It's this flat thing, you're about a thumb's thickness away from the bed. It's some tiny uh, two finger gap. All right, let's install this, which you can already see is about two thumbs. That's a two thumb system we got going here. We got a four finger distance from this. It's just not the best product on the market. I much rather this flat thing that connects to all of these holes than this. Look how close to the wall that is with that instead of this. There is one up point to this. If you want a bunch of outlets in one spot and you don't want to have to put it on the ground with one of those long extension cords, because right here, if you plug this into the wall, you turn two outlets into six. So I don't know how much it can handle, but I will say it's an open spot and you want to plug everything into, but you don't want to put like a long extension thing. You can put this in the wall.
well. So I'm gonna say it does have some functionality, but there are better devices that this was made for than this. So it gets a three out of 10 in my book. Why do all these products smell really bad? They just smell nasty. Maybe I'm still smelling the glove. You know, it smells like a rubber Halloween mask. That's what this smells like. It smells like the rubber mask you put on for like 10 seconds and you're like, I don't wanna do this, this wasn't a fun idea. Anyway, but that's it for today. That's the whole kit and caboodle. I love you guys so much. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Or if there are more As Seen on TV products you'd like me to test out, this is truly one of my favorite videos to do. Please tweet them to me or comment them below or tag me in an Instagram post of them. I've been doing these for years now and I, I have yet to get bored of them. You might be bored of them already. Who knows? I don't know you. Like this video if you liked it. Remember any video of mine that gets over 25,000 likes, I will do another part of. So hit that like button if you want to see another one of these. Make sure you're following me on all my social medias. And Miss R Baller is my main. I have a photography one, Photography Baller. That one's newish if you haven't heard of it. Make sure you're following my staff, following me on Twitter, following me on all the things. I love you guys so much. And remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums.